Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to explain a bad experience at Applebee's from Saratoga so as you saw from my uh, video before this uh, Hannah and I we went to the Saratoga Spa State Park we walked around and then we decided to stay in Saratoga and head to Applebee's to have some lunch and to have a few drinks because Hannah wasn't driving, I wasn't driving. We took the bus to go to Saratoga and, and everything. And was not the best experience to experience at Saratoga. And since Saratoga is a very high place, I would have expected to be not bad like our uh, I experienced. So the surface wasn't that great. Um, I as my drink I ordered a strawberry daiquiri. wasn't the best. Uh, couldn't really taste the strawberries. Couldn't really taste the alcohol or anything. And I did ask for alcohol. So I asked for my tea and everything. We ordered appetizers and the appetizers were okay. Nothing to complain. I just ordered. Mozzarella sticks can't really go wrong. If you go wrong with the mozzarella sticks, it's already done like a bad thing. But anywho, for my entree, I order a, ch a strawberry chicken balsamic salad. Now you're probably thinking, can I go wrong with the salad? You're wrong. Um, the salad was not the best. Of what you could taste that was not washed. Uh, they gave me. Um, the sides that were no longer good. Then in general, you're not supposed to serve the clients, and and all that it was not the best. And from Hannah's experience, I forgot what she ordered to be honest, but like she said, the whole plate was not the best. I told the server when she came by. I told her I was done. I thought she's like, and the first thing I said, yeah, I'm done. The salad wasn't that good. And she didn't ask what was wrong with her or anything. She's like, oh, really? She took it and she started to walk away. It was Hannah who said something like, yeah, the salad wasn't washed. She's like, oh, really? And she continued to walk it, to walk away when she said that she had her, her back to us while we still had a conversation with her. So it just seemed like she didn't really care. She was just there to make money, which is... Uh, understandable on especially on what's going on today by the same time being very disrespectful about it um working in a restaurant can't be you can't really be that disrespectful if the client's not do, being disrespectful back which Hannah and I won't be disrespectful we will just give information so she can pass on to the kitchen so the kitchen can learn their mistakes to not do the, the same situation again for the next client and she just seemed like she didn't care. She moved on. However, um, they did. Uh, the manager was there. He asked what was wrong with the side and everything. So I think it was the manager's idea to remove the price out, like, for me not to pay for the salad, but paying for the rest, like for my drinks and the appetizer, but not for the salad, which is great, good thing. Um, then she came back, we were ready to pay our bill, and I have a European card, I have a debit card. So with my debit card, we are required to type in our PIN code. If you're not allowed to type in your PIN code, the payment will not process. I told her, so with the little machines on the table, you were able to pay. So I, I look like I did that, I have the option to type in the pin code. So I tried to do that. It would not work. It was still forcing me to swipe my card. And I tried to explain the, uh, to our waitress, I cannot swipe because if I swipe, it will not process. It won't accept the payment because I am required to type in my pin code. And when you swipe, I can't do the pin code. And she's having a, not understanding that part. She swiped and I got the option to leave a tip. And I told her, okay, yeah, it worked, but it's still not going to accept the payment. So go, I'll just do it, do it. I'm like, okay, whatever. I did it, did not accept 
or the payment like I expected. I called her over, I told her, it's not accepted because it's not a credit card. The only time you can swipe if it's a credit card. I do not have a credit card, I have a debit card. She's like, oh, well, let me bring me back. I'm like, I go, do I have the option to put the pin code? She's like, well, no. I go, well, I have a debit card. It's not a credit card. And I keep explaining the same thing over and over and over to her. That I, it's a debit card, so they thought I'm required to do a pin code. She's like, so Hannah said, well, she's for the European. She has a European card, a debit card. She's like, so because she found out that I was a European, she's like, oh, well, I know a lot of parents will work, it's just if you put it as a credit, I'm trying to explain to her that if it's credit, it's a different type of card. I will not be giving her a debit card. She's like, oh, let me just try it. I'm like, okay, well, I'll just try it. Bang. So I thought, okay, you can try it, but it's not going to work because I am required to put a big go down. She brings it back and she comes back and of course like expected. She's like, what well, they accept? I'm like, well yeah, I can't expect it. So Hannah paid um for me, but I did pay Hannah back. So Hannah paid for it and she, the we had the similar uh, situation with the thing where now it's no longer accepting Hannah's car. She's like, oh well, it's probably the internet. I'm like, okay, well, it's now the internet's fault because earlier when Hannah paid for her Mia, it worked. It brought it back and she took Hannah's car, she brought it back, it worked. And it was just more of them being very respectful and everything, tried to explain and everything. It's just, they were just very disrespectful and I was very disappointed because coming from Saratoga, I would assume they will be a lot more polite because Saratoga is known for a lot of people who have money so just it was very really shocking for uh, me to experience them just being disrespectful and not listening to a word that we have to say so yeah so this is my bad experience with Applebee's and I thought I would just give her a little story time because I did a story time that, but that was like my first video ever on this channel, and that blew up. So I thought I'd just do another story, uh, another story time, explaining my very bad experience at the Applebee's at Saratoga. But I guess I go. If you guys did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up because it really helped me, because it helps me out uh, with my channel. If you are interested to hear more story times from me. Leave in any comment, tell me that you want to hear more story times. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I am doing the, uh, kind of like the October vlog thing. So, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.